Hi everyone, a happy new year to you. Just want to give you an update from the course. Uh, 2020 was a very challenging year for us. Um, lockdowns coupled with the wettest year we've had since I started uh, made it very challenging on occasions. Uh, but when we had the team at full strength, uh, we were able to produce a course that had lovely playing surfaces, was challenging and uh, was an improvement on the year before. And that's uh, really our goal at the beginning of each year is just to improve on the year before. Just to touch on the weather for a second, we had uh, 876 mil of rain for the year, which is uh, at least two inches wetter than our wettest year before, which was 2014. And as you can see from the graph, October was an incredibly wet month compared to the rest of them. Despite this, um, the course has remained playable uh, as much as possible, and um, the play and services have remained very good compared to 2019. These pictures are just a reminder of where we came from on 16 and 17. Uh, the area was incredibly wet, incredibly boggy, not even playable. We dug over a thousand metres of uh, drainage up there, filled it, piped it. Um, yeah, and it's made a massive improvement to the area. All the water is now dragged out of play. Yes, we have had a lot of rain this winter, but this is a picture from the beginning of December. And after even more rain than we'd had to that point last year, it was still playable, walkable, and a massive improvement. We don't stop there though. Obviously, we dug more drainage during the last lockdown, front of 16 and 17, getting some more uh, attention. And uh, we've also obviously dug the line across two, or more drainage lines across two, and some up to f on three. We will continue these over the next year or so, the idea of making these areas as playable as possible and basically give them the same treatment we gave 16 and 17 so that um, despite whatever rain we get we're still able to get out there and they still remain playable as much as possible all year round. Obviously one of the main things we've been doing over the last year is upgrading all the bunkers on the golf course. Um, eight new ones have been completed so far and they're looking and playing a lot better than the old ones um, so I've heard not being in one myself. And um, yeah, they're uh, yeah, it's a massive improvement on the original ones. Um, to keep the original ones as playable as possible, before while they're waiting to get upgraded, we will um, be putting more sand in them over the next couple of months, topping them right up so that they're uh, looking again, looking better than they currently do. And yeah, we'll be decent going through the season. And yeah, we look forward to uh, upgrading the ones we're going to be doing this year. I'll give you more details on that as we get nearer to doing them. We've continued to try and get as much sand into the plan services as possible. Um, we've managed to get over 140 tonne in, into the greens, which is a massive step in the right direction. This really aids with the firmness, trueness and general drainage of those areas. So we've also st started regular dressing of the T's and approaches with our new uh, fairway cedar and spiker and the shockwave. We'll be able to really dial up our cultural practices in all areas of the golf course. And uh, yeah, you'll see massive improvements in the playing surfaces as we go through the year because we now, like I say, they're our own product, our own bits of kit, and we'll be able to use them when we need to as opposed to having to wait for them to be hardened or borrowed like we used to have to. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to you using them throughout the whole year. In the coming months, we're going to be working on the gardens and clubhouse surrounds to improve these areas and upgrade them and make them look as impressive as the building they're in front of. We'll also be doing a lot of work to the tree canopies and undergrowth around various areas of the course to improve the light levels and airflow around these areas that will, you know, in turn have a massive benefit on the playing surface in these areas. So looking forward to progressing with that. Lastly, I'm sure you all saw in the email that came out earlier this year about the plans for the five new holes and the quarry land behind the range or next to the range and uh, improvements to three other holes on the golf course and a bigger irrigation lake. Uh, myself, John and the team are really excited about these plans and really looking forward to uh, works beginning on them. And uh, yeah, obviously as there's more updates, we'll let you know as they come. All right, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Uh, production level of these videos has really gone up for this year. And I even refrain from saying next slide, please. So, uh, yeah.
I look forward to seeing you all out there. Uh, please remember to repair your pitch marks and replace your divots. Take care. Happy New Year. See you soon.